Now, before we get into this entertaining video, we would just like to remind you to like and subscribe. Yes, please do like and subscribe. Sunflowers! Hello, my little munchkins, crones, and sunflowers. How are you on this fine Saturday or Shabbos? I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And if you happen to come by this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and you like our content, well, subscribe. It would really, really help us. And you know what? We appreciate it and we thank you in advance. Now, with that being said, let's get into it, baby crone. We got to talk about the Braxtons, girl. Start uh, us off. The Braxtons. <sighs> yes. We needed a long side pause moment for that. So let's start off because we picked up where we left off last episode with Tawanda talking to OJ saying... The, OJ is, is the producer. Yes. Because when Trina, yes, when Trina suggested having Kevin Sr. on the show, Tawanda caught a whole attitude. So she called OJ the, the when, producer. When Trina wanted who on the show? Kevin Sr. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tra Tracy's husband. Um, so. Um, Tawana basically said that the Braxton show is a platform for people that respect Trina, I mean, Tracy and her dying wishes. And she did not want a funeral or people looking down on her and mourning her. And that's exactly what her husband did, according to the Braxtons. So therefore they do not want him on the show. Now, from what I understand... She didn't have a funeral. She had a memorial service. Now, let's be clear. A memorial service, I guess you could have a cart in there, but they usually don't have a body. The body is already cremated or buried, and they're having some kind of memorial a memorial service. The body isn't there. It's not a funeral, but it's like a short where they, you know, you just talk and sing. It's a memorial service. So I don't know because when we looked at clips with little with with Junior with his son mm -hmm. Kevin Kevin's Junior. son Seven Junior he had an iron in his hand. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. So though that is not clear to me, was mm -hmm. it a memorial service or was it a funeral? Yes. Because from what I understand, it was a memorial, memorial. service. So. I'm not clear on that mm -hmm. at all. Um, I've heard two different sides. Yes. Um, I heard, I think Trina and them called it a funeral. A funeral. With, and I think they were saying that the body, they had the body. Now, let me be clear on this. Now, let's, let's, let's think it back. Yes. Please. It couldn't be a memorial. It couldn't have been a funeral. Okay. I don't think it was. It could be. I'm just. I'm saying this because when 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 Kevin Jr. was on the stage, I think he had a large. It was blue. Okay. Urn holding it. Uh huh. The Braxtons are angry. Yes. However, because they didn't go, they probably see it as a funeral. Mm -hmm. Like they they didn't go. Right. And maybe they got word to people saying it was a funeral. I don't know. But I know that there is a big difference between a memorial and a funeral. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a body. Memorials is in memory of. You yes. don't have to have a body there because it's a funeral. You just go in and you sit down. About It could be 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's not even long. You don't have no preacher, no teacher, <laughs> no, you know, you might have that, but it's not a service. It's just a memory service. You know, somebody speak of them, maybe say a poem, sing okay. a song, and that's it. It's not, and their urn could be there with their pictures, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a step up from a wake, okay. if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. So Trina and the family wasn't there. So I don't know. I'm, I, it's not clear. So if anybody is clear on that, please let the crones know. Because I've heard yes. that, that it was a funeral. 
Mm-hmm. And from what from where we saw, Lord, he yeah. had an urn. Mm-hmm. And I know what an urn looked like. Yes. And he had it up on the stage, right? Mm-hmm. Talking. Yeah. So, so so please, if you guys understood what happened or what ser- what kind of service or service it was, please let us know down in the comments. Yeah, not, like like you know for sure. Mm-hmm. Was it a food that he had that was her was her body at there for viewing or was it a memorial service right i'm thinking it was a memorial, memorial. service mm-hmm. and the braxton since they wasn't there they seen it as a funeral yeah. i'm not sure yet yeah that's the way it sounds like that's what it sounds like because why would why would her son be her holding her urn at that memorial service mm-hmm. so Anyway, yeah. I mean, they give memorial services to people that has been cremated or, you know, or they, no, it's never a body. No, it's okay. because they don't have a body. Maybe they got lost at sea. Fair enough. You know, they, it's just not about, it's not a funeral. You know, it could last 15, 20 minutes, not long. It's just a memory. Mm-hmm. But it could be if you have a lot of, because Tracy was, um, I don't want to say famous, but I'm going to say famous. Okay. Because I don't know if she was famous, famous. Right. She was enough famous. So she was known. So she mm-hmm. was enough famous whereby a, a memorial could be dragged out a little longer because of a lot of people. But therefore, I don't know. I'm not clear on that. Yeah. I'm really not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm yes. clear on a memorial and I'm clear on a funeral. <laughs> right. I'm just not clear on what Kevin gave um, his deceased wife. Yes. And um, yeah, and pretty much to, to Wanda saying that she's bringing this all to light and making everything public because their news always happens to get out in the media anyway. So she's like, let's bring it first with all the details and all the facts. The thing that I don't understand about it is why i know I, i'm trying to it's like it seemed like you all got close with when when she got sick that's what it sounds like it just sound like you all are trying to make up it just seemed like you all are trying to make up for what y'all didn't do when she was alive mm-hmm. yeah i mean you're going back we work we did we saw the struggle that Tracy and her family went through. Okay. Things got better. But then you have Tamar yes. who said that she didn't know anything until two weeks before Tracy died. Yeah. And she can't get over that. No, nope, she can't. I, I mean, Tracy had been sick for a year. So why didn't they tell, because it, was it during the time where she was mentally ill and tried to put herself to sleep? Could be. And they didn't want to stress her? That could be it. The mother said that Tony didn't know. Tracy, I mean, to, um, what you call it, said she did know. So I don't understand it because at this point, Tracy's gone. Yeah. I don't understand. It's It's... You know, every year they're going to celebrate her birthday. And Mm -hmm. I I don't know about stuff like that. They didn't do it when she was alive. I'm just, (laughs) I'm just confused. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's, hey, listen, like they said, this entire season is dedicated to Tracy. And let me say this. I'm okay. I'm sorry. I have to stand up for this. Okay. Kevin Jun, Kevin Senior said that I mean I don't know the story, so if any of you have it, let me know. Yes. Kevin Senior said that, or somebody said it. It wasn't Kevin. It wasn't Kevin Senior. Somebody said that that she left him nothing. She left everything to the son. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Yeah. That's, that's if that is hurt. wrong, please let me know because for me, 
if that's what she did, why stay with him? Right. I I don't. It's like. It wasn't the best time to teach your son a lesson. Literally. Yeah, the letter, I, I don't understand that. I, I'm perplexed. And, and and like I said, I'm hearing so many things, so I don't know. So everything I say is allegedly. Mm -hmm. But right now, I don't even understand. Was it a funeral or was it a memorial? Why he didn't leave? She didn't leave, and then and then it's like there was a baby. She stayed. What I don't understand that to me, yeah. I don't understand that's hatred. And so for me to hear that, for me to hear that, honestly, to find out that I was cut out the will mm -hmm. because this is what I'm understanding. I don't know. But if that is the case, mm -hmm. you done lost your mind. You couldn't have been in your right frame of mind to cut me out after all these years. You, you couldn't have put our son over. You couldn't make us both the beneficiary. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have done that to me. You would have had to have lost your mind. Yeah, I'm serious. That's why I'm saying, I don't understand. You have people saying, well, the Kardashians are saying she left them everything. And then you have people saying she, she jealous. I be jealous. I'm human. Yeah. I would feel a way. I'd be salty. Mm -hmm. You left me nothing and you left everything to our son? Yes. Understanding that he's fragile, mm -hmm. and this is your way of going to let him get some muscles. Yes. So if this is true, Tracy, you set off the course of hell. She really did towards your husband because your sisters are gobbling him up. And that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's it or yeah. not. It's getting so bizarre at this point that I feel like they did the wrong thing by airing this on TV. You think so? Yes. Okay, speak Because on. now Tracy's death is so muddled in confusion. And they're saying that they're doing this all in the love and protecting and memorance of Tracy. It don't feel that way. It doesn't. It's so much drama. I am sorry for Tracy at this point. All her business is out in the street. You all never exposed her like this. Mm -mm. Y'all remembering her. Y'all remembering a lot of BS. That's what y'all remembering. Yeah. You got Tamar sitting at the table. Y'all mad. Mm -hmm. She gone. I wasn't told. That was rotten, but she gone. Yeah. I don't even know. And that shows you that they spend all this time fighting because she said that she realized that the time, short time that she had with Tracy, she realized all the times that she's going to miss now that she's going to be gone. Cause she's just like, man, she was really this great person. And we had all this time beefing and at odds with each other that I didn't, that I didn't get to enjoy Tracy. To me, Tracy was the realest one because she seemed like the dark sheep. Okay. She wasn't like them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They were all flat, fleshy and all that. She was just normal. Cause they, you know, they were going on and she chose marriage and her son. So she was just normal, living a normal life, mm -hmm. you know, living under the umbrella of the sisters and them traveling. But when they got the show, that's when Tracy started coming alive. Okay. And now it's so ironic, actually, out of all of the sisters, She's the main one who's gone. It doesn't even make sense when you think about it. 
she was the one that they did they did neglect her okay it's, she was left behind and and she they are right back in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s or whatever they you couldn't do nothing if you was pregnant and if you was you would hope that you was married and even still because they felt as though it messed up your image nowadays you see people pop out babies and go on back and start twerking on that stage two weeks later yes Baby Red, what's her name? Sexy Red. Sexy Red. And she do that skank walk, but I'm telling you, nobody does the skank walk. Nobody does yes. it like Sweeney. Sweeney walk that skank. I she like do. she do it. She do. But not like not like not like Sweeney, Sweeney do a skank walk. God knows. But back to what I was saying. Yeah. It's just to me. I'm thinking, was this recorded during the time where Tamar was having trouble with JR? That's also a good question. How how old is this? Um, definitely after They said two years. Yes. Because so those, so it was recorded in 23. The end of tw sometime in 23. Mm-hmm. And she was with that guy then. Your JR. Hmm. Let's yeah. go. That's okay. She got wrapped up in her own life. Just like somebody else who gets wrapped up in their own life. Tony Braxton over there in France. You can fly. Tony, oh, yes. Tony right, right. Yes. She could take a plane. I thought boat. she said the doctor said she couldn't fly. Uh -huh. You fly. I told you. I told Tony. Well, she not. see Kevin she Jr. She ain't going to see Kevin Jr. though. But she can't fly. But she already in France somewhere. I told y'all. Tony, oh Tony show up and Grace said, Tony, run. Tony's like, I don't want to be around these ninjas. They cramp my style. She really do run. It's like, to me, it's like Tony don't even fit with them. No. She don't fit. Her and Tamar are so far removed from the show. No, fit. Like, no, oh. Tamar fit. She don't seem like she fit. Like, she just seemed a little bit more elegant, a little bit more classier, okay. a little bit more demure than the rest of them. Got you. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, I do. And so it's like whenever she tries to get away, she gets away. Mm-hmm. And and just tries to avoid it to me, it's like she tries to avoid contact. Yes. Like, oh, I, I got a show. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't. I, I yes. I'll make an appearance on the phone. Hey girls. <laughs> yes. You know, I told you, Tony's like, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> but she's the peacemaker. Yes. Mm -hmm. That I do enjoy about her. Mm -hmm. Um so speaking of remembrance and Tamar, Tamar is, um, I'm not sure if she is releasing an album right? or she, or she has just gotten ready to, or is getting ready what was to that <laughs> some white piece of hair string flying in the air that just caught my vision. Probably a dust web. <laughs> yes. <Go ahead. laughs> um, but yeah, so Tamar, in remembrance of her sister, she had released a song or an album. I'm not sure if she's redoing songs that Tracy didn't get a chance to finish, or if she's just trying to. I I I I think she's doing music that Tracy didn't get a chance to finish. Okay. However, I think that that Tam that Tamar should sing some of her sister's greater hits. Okay, when she does her show. I would say I would sing it for Tracy, like Tracy would sing it, and Tamar can sing. I would definitely give it, even 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 um, Tony. If Tony want to sing a song, oh, that's true. I think that they should put their sister's song in their in their shows, be, so it could be memorable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I gotta talk about it. Okay. 
I don't know what is crossing boundaries. Oh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But if my husband, yes, not the father of my grown son, mm -hmm. understanding I want to be a grandma. Yes. I want to be Bubby. I want to be, what she call it? Mumsy. Mumsy. She wants to be called these names. You know this. And you tell her sons to have yes. a vasectomy? Because that's what you would do? Mm -hmm. You evil man. Yeah. That was definitely underhanded. You didn't even talk to your wife. Mm -mm. And your reason is don't do it. I don't even know. That is so, it, it, look, whether they have a vasectomy or not, mm -hmm. that is not your place to say that to her boys. Yes. Oh my God. That was too much. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And then he ended mm. it off with a sly comment. I'm not sure if any of y'all heard it, but he said, thank God that's over. Meaning that he no longer has to deal with having kids or having a woman that want kids. He's just like, listen, it's all on the woman's plate. Don't, don't leave it up to her. You get it done. If you don't want kids, get it chip chopped. Thank God I don't have to deal with that. Oh, I was sitting there with my mouth open and I don't know about you. That's mm -hmm. wow. Like, wow. Like both of her sons. Yeah. Is mm -hmm. one of her sons gay? I'm not sure, but he, he's looking suspect. The one that's not married. I think he's gay. I don't know. I don't know, but it wouldn't shock me. No. And in that case, I could see him not having any, right. but the one that was just recently married, I don't know if he's been married a year or so, but a year or less, I don't know. He doesn't want no children. Mm -mm, no, he said he doesn't. Mm. Yeah. I always, always thought that that was a woman's call and that's why you got married. Like one of the reasons you get married so we can multiply mm -hmm. and, and, and put out seed in the earth and fix what we got wrong and try to fix it in them so we can live on. Okay. But to say, to cut off my, my legacy and let me become extinct, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That is a good point because you have to, you have to wonder why would somebody not want to have a child? Even baby Cone, I always said, well, if you have a son, name him your middle name mm -hmm. and keep your last name, hyphen it or whatever, mm -hmm. because you're a girl. Right. I don't understand it. I'm mm -hmm. thinking even women think this way. Yeah. But to tell them that and took pride. He did. He and really not did. he didn't even flinch. That lets me know Trina. Mm-hmm. Mm Trina, mm. Mm -hmm. and she lost the fight because she tried to confront him about it, and he doubled down. He standed on business, and Trina just felt defeated. She was just like, like she was like, I don't know what else to say. You just completely undermined me and gave my kids advice. Or do you think that she doing it because they on air? But that's where I would have had to check that. Mm -hmm. She did. But he's like, yep, I said it. Yeah. And I'll say it again. And I mean what I said. Mm -hmm. And stop forcing them. Stop it. Stop it. I'm like, mm -hmm. see, that's where you go, nigga. Right. Not even your You kids. done lost. You done lost your mind. That that that's where that word come in. Mm, he taking over that family. You, 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 you all tell me what you think. Yes, Vaughn. You I told good. you all that this man gobbles her up. Yeah, he overshadows it. her. I've been saying it. Mm -hmm. I got a good judge of character. 
I don't even understand how Trina end up with Lurch. I don't That's understand a huge it. Question mark. I I I don't, I don't get even it understand. It doesn't make sense to me. It really does. It not at all. I don't get it. Mm -mm. I I don't get. I, it doesn't make sense. They're, they're so opposite in thinking. It's scary. We were just looking at them, and there they go again, bickering in the kitchen. Yes. Mm. If you told my sons that, knowing, and it's like he's saying, I don't want you to have no grandkids. Mm. Mine's is enough. Yeah. He wants no more kids. And she's like, well, you have grandkids. And I don't want no more. So we know he done had a vasectomy done. Mm -hmm. What may I? I don't understand. I, I'm sorry. I'm just. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm perplexed. And she let. That's another thing she didn't deal with. I think because she can't because <clears throat> he's so steadfast and stuck in his way yes and off camera i could see he gonna he be something to argue with mm -hmm. i wonder if they're gonna bring that up on their tv review on their on their channel mm. i i don't understand how I, i'm perplexed i i really am too that done blow, blew me away but yeah go ahead the audacity he had was high no question just Mm -hmm. I, I, mm -mm. That's the, I'm blown yes. away by that. Yes. And maybe you all not, but I am. Why? Because you're cutting off our lineage. You're telling my boys it's okay to never duplicate. Mm -hmm. You're telling my boys that when you die, there's no more you. There's no more us. We gone. Mm-hmm. Both of you, not one of you willing to change your mind. Right. And to pretty much say that you don't care what your wife wants. Once you get that vasectomy. Unless his wife, un unless his wife don't want any children, but she young, she could change her mind. All mm. Like Trina said, all it needs is a little pillow talking. <laughs> you know, when, okay. I, that was a lot to me. As that you definitely see. was. That troubled my soul. We are seeing a lot about their relationship in this series. And um, Trina sucked it up. She sucked she it up, Buttercup. She was like, blah, blah, blah. Her eyes rolled around her head. They did. She couldn't believe he said it, but she was submissive. Mm -hmm. She loves him. I don't get it. Yes. I don't get I don't get it. Mm-mm. So now we have came to the um the final scene, which was basically Trina's Tracy's yeah Tracy's heavenly birthday dinner, oh, as yeah. they called it. Yes, heavenly, um, heavenly. Mm -hmm. To remember Tracy on her birthday. This is their second year doing this mm -hmm. since her passing. Um, it was a crab feast because Tracy loves crabs. And um, who else? Oh, yes. Kevin Jr. was a surprise show up to because, come. Think. Because that's what um, Tawanda. Tawanda wanted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, pretty much nothing really much happened there other than Trace Tamar opened up about how she really was left behind. Yes. That, that's her MO for this for the season. You guys never tell me any, anything and I'm the last to know. I mean, I can understand you feeling salty, but two years later, you got to spend two weeks. Yeah, at least you got some time. Enjoy that a little bit. And 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 and, and she seems like she's got the most peace with it. You're surprisingly right, even mm -hmm. though she's crying about no, it. No, she cried because it's her sister's birthday. And it's like a year. Just like when my sister, I get sad around that time. 
It's still relatively new. It'll take, I don't know, to get over it, to get over I don't know. I'll let you know. You never get over it, but you're able to move on. But even now, I struggle. So I'm saying maybe in five years or something, then you'll never get over them. You just learn to live your life without them. You never, you, you never over them though. You, you wish for them. You wish you could see them again, talk to them again, but they're gone forever. Mm. Yeah, I just feel sad about that. Well, that's one thing that the show is good for. Outside of all the other drama that they have, mm. it's really good for helping you trying to heal and mourn. And that for, I enjoy Tamar because at least she's trying to be on a good and self-healing journey. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing that I do think it was, was really doing the most was at the very end, right when the episode was getting ready to end. Mm -hmm. You remember how Tony's out in France performing, but um, they somehow found a way to even have Tony come in and give some confessional about how she was, um, how she remembers Tracy and wishing Tracy a happy birthday. I'm like, girl, you wasn't even there at the birthday party. Why? Why did the? I thought she couldn't fly. <laughs> Tony, Tony, find a way to I'm working. <laughs> For mm -hmm. real. I ain't um, around these buzzards. I'm working. Around them and their drama. Nah, and she aboard them like a play. I understand. She show up, I'll be there by satellite. <laughs> hey. Hey, away from the nuttiness. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all a mess. <laughs> Love y'all. Oh, thank God. That's how she, she probably had to take medicine before she go see her family. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the Braxtons and what they're going that's through this episode. Through. Mm. Yeah. That Trina, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that Trina and Vaughn is mm -mm. a mess. Vaughn is loving. really bold to be doing all, all of this on camera. He I'm really telling you bold. all, if you have, if you watch this, please thumb us up or make a comment tell me what did you think about Vaughn please I really want to know I, I I thought it was out of line out of pocket uh -huh. out of space disrespectful out of your mind disrespectful absolutely well with that being said we thank you for joining us is there anything else oh no we gave subscribe. you our recap of it we enjoyed it as always mm -hmm. it's a travesty it is but that's reality tv that's true and they it's bring good TV. it mm -hmm. and i thank you braxton thank you we're for that. mad at you we fuss at you but we love you oh yeah all right mm -hmm. and with that being said sunflowers <laughs>